Okay, so um, I'm looking at how to arrange different elements of the learning landscape. Work, private, face-to-face -face online, synchronous, asynchronous. So please let me know whether you think this makes sense. Here is the learning landscape and we can divide the learning landscape into different areas. And I'm going to divide them into three areas. First one is the private sphere or private life. Secondly, your work environment. And thirdly, the formal school environment. Now within that, those three areas, we can also add another division. We have the interactions that take place face to face uh, at school, face to face in your private life or at work. Of course, there's also the online environment and the online environment can be uh, divided into two categories. The first category is online synchronous. That means when you're interacting with somebody online, they are also in the same moment in time, you can have direct communication with them. And the next level is online asynchronous. And online asynchronous means that you can look at something that's been pre-recorded. The other person doesn't have to be there at that moment. And the final layer you can add to this overview is two different types of learning. The first one is formal learning. That's part of a formal curriculum. It's uh, structured with assessments and with the learning goals. And the second level is informal learning, where there may not be any specific learning goals, but you're learning on the go uh, without necessarily being aware of it or focusing on it. I'll give you some specific examples. Learning in private. So in private, the first environment is the face-to-face -face synchronous. And those are examples of informal learning is how we mostly learn. Here we are, somebody's learning to cook with their a family member. The friends are hanging out together, sharing ideas, uh, learning as they go, or maybe playing a sport, a team. None of those things are formal lessons, but there's a lot of learning going on. And that's how we learn the majority of the time. The next level is, of course, when it's formal learning. An example in private might be that you decide you need to take a driving course. You want to learn to drive. That's not part of your school curriculum, but it's a formal aspect and you do take place in your own time. The next level is online synchronous. That means you're online and you're interacting with somebody who is online at the same time. An informal learning example might be gaming, where you're playing with friends now, you may not think of that as learning, but there's a lot of learning going on, a lot of skills and interactions and social aspects. At a formal learning level, you might have somebody who is following a course. Here it's a live course. It's being streamed into their house. It's not part of their school curriculum. They just want to study something extra. Uh, so it's private, formal learning, uh, online synchronous. And now we go to the online asynchronous. And asynchronous means it's in a uh, the other person you're interacting with doesn't have to be there at the same time. Formal learning, that might look like somebody who's decided, OK, I want to study an additional course. It's outside my school curriculum. Uh, and here watching a pre-recorded web lecture um, later in the day when the uh, person who recorded it is not available anymore. Informal learning, well, that could be sitting down and watching the TV, watching a Netflix series. Um, choose when you watch it. Uh, choose when to stop. It's totally un the timing is totally under your control. You may not think of it as learning, but there is still a lot of learning going on. So that was the uh, private environment. Let's look at the work environment now. When you're learning at work, we'll look at the three areas. Face-to-face -face synchronous. Well, if you're, again, quite a lot happens informally when you're just interacting with colleagues. There's no specific training. You're picking things up as you go. Or you might just be in discussion with somebody and you're learning uh, on the job. Formal learning might be a much more specific uh, task that you're carrying out with feedback and instruction, or it could be a specific training course that you do with your fellow uh, um, employees uh, to develop a certain skill. Face-to-face, -face, synchronous, physically present in the same space. The next level is online synchronous. Maybe you're at work and you're following uh, something in a formal environment. You can see somebody studying during uh, work time, it's a specific training taking place there and then. The people on the other uh, end of the uh, interactions are there and available to discuss. 
Informal learning might be just simply chatting to a colleague, um, blowing off some steam, sharing ideas, brainstorming. It's not structured, but again, a lot of learning happening. And the final one is online asynchronous learning. And that might look like uh, somebody informally just interested in something at work, goes off, starts exploring, not part of a set curriculum, but interested in it. And again, we see this gentleman coming back. He is formal learning now. He is watching an, a pre-recorded uh, uh, lesson content for his uh, online course that he's following as a part of work as a trainee has to follow. So we've looked at work. Now we're going to look at school. So when you're learning at school, um, the learning takes place face to face synchronously. Now, if we look at informal learning, what does that look like? Well, there's just a whole bunch of interactions, discussions, developing social skills, interacting with one another, sharing ideas, jokes, arguments, laughter, disagreements, and so on. So that is the environment of informal learning where a lot happens in the school context. The next level is formal learning at school. This is where we perhaps think of things more traditionally as where, you know, learning in project groups, you can see people working together at the same moment on a project assignment, or they are in a lecture in a classroom with a teacher. They can ask questions, they can interact. There's immediate feedback, or they're working on a practical experiment to explore and discover things using technology and equipment that's available at the school. The next level would be at school when you're working online and synchronously and formal learning. Now that might be following a Teams meeting. The teacher's giving the lesson live and you're not in the same space, but it's formal learning. It's part of the curriculum and you are following it online at the same time. Maybe you're a project group, but you've also got an, a, a group member who is um, not able to be there and they join online. So these online interactions are taking place there and then they're part of the formal school curriculum informal learning online and synchronous might just be chatting to uh, somebody at school uh, interacting with somebody on online via a, a video channel sharing ideas brainstorming not part of the official curriculum but there's still learning going on and the final area is the online asynchronous if we look at what formal learning might look like well here you can see a group of students all working on an assignment online, but they're all going at their own pace. They're all interacting. So they are online asynchronously interacting. Uh, you might have somebody following a, watching a pre-recorded web lecture. So it's part of the course content and it's formal uh, content, part of a, uh, an assignment they have to do, but it's a pre-recorded web lecture, not synchronous live. So those are the three different elements we've looked at. Let's take a look at the original model again. You can see that they all interact. And what I'm interested in doing now is to map the different, uh, is to examine the borders between these different elements. What is happening uh, between school and private, between work and private, school and work? What is the overlap? And how can we make the whole experience for students, the learning experience, um, more seamless so that it's a continuum rather than these divisions? So that was the overview. I'm very happy to hear if you have some comments or suggestions, let me know whether it makes sense. And it's a, an idea in development. So input always appreciated. Thank you.